Salisaw, Oklahoma. Salisaw is a city and county seat of Sequoia County. The population was 8,880 at the 2010 census, an 11.2% increase from 7,891 at the 2000 census. Salisaw is part of the Fort Smith, Arkansas, Oklahoma Metropolitan Statistical Area. French explorers and traders had traveled through this part of North America in the 17th century, and were the people who attached the name Salisaw to several geographic features. In the 1840s and 1850s, Salisaw had been the name of one of the 22 Arkansas River steamboat landings between Fort Smith and Fort Gibson. Modern Salisaw's beginning as a permanent community began in 1887 to 1888, when Argyle Quisenberry, a white man, and Wawei Wheeler, a collateral relative of noted Cherokee leader Stan Wadey, laid out lots for a town. Several post offices had existed in the area nearby, even before there was a named community. The site of present-day Salisaw fell within the boundaries of the Cherokee Nation after the tribe was forced to emigrate from its former home in the southeastern U.S. It had a post office called Childers Station from 1873 to 1888, when the name was changed to Salisaw. Another community 15 miles north bore the name Salisaw for a period until 1888, when the name of the post office there was changed to Mays, but it closed in 1896. Will Wadey Wheeler established several businesses in the town during the 1880s and 1890s. These included a cotton gin, sawmill, grist mill and lumber yard. In 1896, he opened the coffin shop, which later became the Wheeler Funeral Home. The latter was still doing business in Salisaw in the 21st century. The Kansas and Arkansas Valley Railway, later the Missouri Pacific Railroad, built an east-west line from Van Buren. Arkansas to Salisaw in 1888-1890. The Kansas City, Pittsburgh and Gulf Railroad, later named the Kansas City Southern Railroad built a north-south line through Salisaw in 1895-96, where the two intersected. Other early businesses included the economy store and McDonald Mercantile Company, operated by William Henry McDonald, who also owned a bank, Matthews Brothers, a grocery, was opened in 1898 by Henry and Arch Matthews, W. D. Mayo and E. M. Pointer founded Mayo and Company, a mercantile and farm implement business. Mr. and Mrs. C. F. Ivy established a long-standing drug store. She also owned hotels. By 1900, Salazar recorded a population of 965, which increased to 2,255 in 1920. During this time, the community's economy rose and fell with the price of cotton. After 1920. Lumber and its byproducts began playing a major role in the town's economy, along with coal and petroleum products, including natural gas. The local newspaper, Sequoia County Times, began publication in 1932. It was founded by Wheeler Mayo, son of an earlier Salisaw businessman, and his wife. As of 2005, the paper was still owned by the Mayo family. The name Salisaw was taken from the French word salazone, meaning salt provisions in English. The French, who hunted in the area long before the town was founded, called Salisaw Creek Salazo because hunters salted bison meat there. English naturalist Thomas Nuttall recorded the name as Salazo, in his journal during his exploration of the area in 1819. Salazar is located at, 35.457978, minus 94.794421. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and, 1.40%, is water. The city lies within the Green Country region of eastern Oklahoma, known for its rolling green hills. It has three highways running through it, US 59, or Kerr Boulevard, US 64, or Cherokee Avenue, which is the city's main street, and I-40. It is located in the central area of the county, from Muldrow, from Viam, from Rowland, and from Fort Smith, Arkansas. According to the Encyclopedia of Oklahoma History and Culture, nearby geographic features include Wild Horse Mountain to the south, Badger Mountain to the northwest, and Lone Pine Mountain to the northeast. As of the census of 2000, there were 7,989 people, 3,206 households, and 2,151 families residing in the city. The population density was 629.0 inhabitants per square mile. 242.9 per square kilometer. There were 3,556 housing units at an average density of 280.0 per square mile, 108.1 per square kilometer. 
the racial makeup of the city was 68.29% white, 1.35% African American, 20.30% Native American, 0.29% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 1.11% from other races, and 8.62% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.25% of the population. There were 3,206 households out of which 31.9% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 47.1% were married couples living together, 15.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32.9% were non-families. 29.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.42 and the average family size was 2.99. In the city, the population was spread out with 26.6% under the age of 18, 9.9% .9 from 18 to 24, 25.0% from 25 to 44, 21.8% from 45 to 64, and 16.7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 89.9 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 82.9 males. The median income for a household in the city was $24,821, and the median income for a family was $31,572. Males had a median income of $26,793 versus $19,775 for females. The per capita income for the city was $13,231. About 18.5% of families and 23.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 30.6% of those under age 18 and 15.9% of those age 65 or over. The local economy was based on cotton farming during the town's early years. During the 1920s, the focus of the economy shifted to the production of lumber, oil and natural gas. A prison camp was established here during World War II. After the war, a variety of industrial and retail businesses were established. The Sequoia County Times, founded by Wheeler Mayo in 1932, is called the largest circulation, non-metro, non-daily newspaper in Oklahoma. It was still owned by the Mayo family in the 21st century. East Cherokee Avenue is a business loop, with Salazar's only mall, the East Gate Shopping Center originally a Walmart store, which was moved to 1101 W. Ruth Avenue in 2001. The Salazar Municipal Airport is located a half mile south of the intersection of I-40 and U.S. 59. Blue Ribbon Downs, BRD, a horse racing venue, was established in Salazar during the 1960s by Bill Hedge. He sold the track to an investment group in 1973. Legalization of gambling on horse racing did not occur until 1982. So the first paramutual race occurred August 30, 1984. This caused a short term boom in track related businesses. However, the popularity waned and the track struggled financially. The Choctaw Nation bought the facility in 2003 for $4.25 million, put in more capital, and converted it to a Rochino that combined the race track with a casino. Despite the improvements, BRD was not a financial success and closed permanently in 2010. The Choctaw Nation tried to sell the operation on two occasions, but the deals fell through. Then, just one day before the track was to be sold at a sheriff's auction in November 2003, the Cherokee Nation purchased the property for $2.5 million. The Cherokee chief, Chet Smith, said that his nation did not plan to resume horse racing at the site, but is considering other options for uses land. He admitted that using the track as a training facility would also be considered. The only commercial manufacturing reported in Salisaw has been the Borg Warner Morse Tech, a maker of auto parts and plastic foam packing materials. The post office is located at 111 McGee Drive, on the east side of town. Its main public schools are Liberty Elementary, Eastside Elementary, Salisaw Middle School, and Salisaw High School which is located on West Ruth Avenue. In higher education, it features a branch of Carl Albert State College, based in Pateau. A campus of Indian Capital Technology Center is also located in Salisaw. The Stanley Tubbs Memorial Library, pictured above, is a branch of the Eastern Oklahoma District Library System, EADLS. The system, headquartered in Muskogee, Oklahoma, serves 15 branch libraries in Adair, Cherokee, Delaware, 
McIntosh, Muskogee and Sequoia Counties. Yields provides resources to all of its branches, helping them provide more access to their patrons for use of books, newspapers, magazines, videos and books on tape from any of the Eadils libraries. Examples of such resources include, Interlibrary Loan, ILL, Electronic Databases, Internet Access, Free, and an Electronic District-Wide Catalog. The Salisaw branch is located in a historic building that once was the Salisaw Railroad Station. It is open Monday through Friday and on Saturday mornings. The hospital is Sequoia Memorial Hospital, at 213 Redwood Avenue. Redbird Smith Health Clinic also provides health-related services. The city is served by Salisaw Municipal Airport, signed KJSV. The main runway, designated 1735, is long by wide. The facility is attended seven days per week. 0800 to 1700, except for federal holidays. It has a lighted wind indicator, but no control tower. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.